Awesome, so the grape solar panels came in. They look pretty good. They look really nice. We'll take a look at them. The panels here, I've already kind of inspected them. Since we have the extended version, Sprinter 170, we're going to, uh, we're using these two huge panels. These are 300 watt panels from Grape Solar. I got these because they are made in the US. Okay, getting ready to tap the crossbars here, the 8020 crossbar. Got my 516 18 tap. Gonna use some tapping fluid, but just gonna go right into the existing hole here. Even with this tap, once you get to a certain depth, it will catch so this still works like i said it's not ideal but uh, if i had a spiral flute tap i would definitely use that i'm getting ready to drill the holes in the solar panels i'm going to drill the holes in the side of the frame uh, it does void the manufacturer's warranty but i'm not too worried about it Okay, I've got one panel and frame pretty much complete. I'm gonna show you how I put this together. I've got my panels laid out here. Drilled this end here into the, into the hole, and I'm going to uh, use a two inch stainless screw to connect that, just like I did on the other one. And then same on this side. Okay, I got these bolts in here. Now I'm going to drill the same holes here that I drilled earlier on the other panel. Drill those holes into the frame of the solar panel. And then I'm gonna use a two inch stainless bolt there also with a nylock and a washer these have a nylon insert so they won't back out or loosen as uh, as you're driving or as you're moving these brackets attach the 8020 to the existing roof rails so this piece here will go into the existing roof rail uh, just the stock mercedes roof rail there's a, a slot that this slides into and then these sit on top and then you bolt uh, bolt this down. Sweet! So I just set up this bracket. I had to cut out this bracket. This is what it originally looked like. Uh, I had to use the jigsaw to cut out this, this area here for the bracket, the roof rail bracket. So as you can see, I, I just cut it out with the jigsaw, uh, enough room to allow this bracket for the roof rails to slide in a little bit uh, so there's no overlap put another t-nut in the bottom of here and then another two more bolts here and uh, then i'll be putting the solar panels up here's the plan so i'm gonna take the panels i'm gonna actually use a forklift to put them on top of the van because i have access to it so why not uh, i'm gonna use these parallel connectors to connect the two panels into parallel and then just feed two wires one positive one negative through the roof of the van and then into the charge controller Back up on the van with both panels on. 
I'm just getting ready to attach the two together. I've got to lift this one up and then I'm going to slide this on. There's these special pieces that are like a carriage bolt with a piece of metal here that goes in the factory roof rail. Then I'm going to put these T-nuts in here. And then the bolt will come up into the bracket into the uh, 8020. Just making the final electrical connections up here. I got these grape solar extension cables that have the MC4 connectors on it. So there's a male and a female. Gonna connect the panels into parallel with the branch connector, and then going to connect the branch connector to the extension cable, and then cut the other end off and then run that through a hole in the van. I'm putting this scan strut mount on or um, entry gland. I'll show you how I'm gonna put it in. So um, I've drilled a hole in this rubber piece. There's a blank rubber piece that they give you. They give you actually several different sizes, but I'm gonna use the blank one so I can fit two wires in the same hole. Put both of the wires through the hole. You drill the hole slightly smaller than the wires. All right, so I just need to make sure I'm gonna connect the positive to the positive terminal. The wires aren't labeled, so I'm just gonna take a quick reading here. Okay, so that means it's backwards. You can see it's negative 36 volts. So then when I switch the two, I wanna be sure not to touch these together, otherwise they'll short out and spark and potentially damage the solar panels. So it's important not to touch them. Okay, now we have positive 36 volts. So that means this one's the positive and this one here is the negative. The last step is to connect your positive and minus to your charge controller, and then your charge controller outputs to the batteries. On the ground, you can barely see the solar panels. That's one of the main reasons I went with the 8020 because we wanted to be able to stealth camp if we had to. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see more of our 4x4 Sprinter 170 build. I'll leave links for all of the items I used in the video description.